Welcome to the 29th meeting in 2023 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We have received apologies from Oliver Mandel. Before we move to the first item on the agenda, I would like to remind everyone present to please switch off their mobile phones or put them to silent uh, and also all electronic devices too. The first item of business is to decide whether to take items 5, 6, 7 and 8 in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? And our agenda item number two, we're considering three instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. An issue has been raised on one of these instruments, the Draft Budget, Scotland Act 2023, Amendment to Regulations 2023. This instrument amends the Budget, Scotland Act 2023. It alters the Scottish Government's financial allocations for the various purposes for which the Scottish Administration may use resources in the financial year of 2023-24. In correspondence with the Scottish Government, the Committee queried aspects of the drafting of three provisions of the instrument. Full details of the Committee's questions and the Scottish Government responses have been published online alongside the agenda for today's meeting. Does the Committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under the general reporting ground in that 1. Regulation 2b makes an unnecessary substitution by replacing the existing figure in Section 43a of the Act 2023 with the same figure. Secondly, the amendment made by Regulation 32C4 to purpose so, so again the amendment made by Regulation 32C4 to purpose three in Schedule 1 of the Act leaves a reference to programmes which should be singular. And thirdly, in the amendments made by Regulation 32I, 2 and 4 to Purpose 9 in Schedule 1. It would be more helpful to the reader if the references to, and I quote, the organisation, uh, which are introduced into a provision which refers to various different bodies, were instead expressly uh, to the Scottish Administration. In relation to Regulation 3 to C4, does the Committee wish to welcome the Scottish Government's commitment to address this in the next amending instrument? And in relation to Regulation 32I, 2 and 4, does the Committee wish to invite the Scottish Government to consider addressing this in the next amending instrument? Yes. Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on the Draft Vehicle Emissions Trading Schemes Order 2023 and the Draft Plant Health Fees Forestry Scotland Amendment Regulations 2023. Is the Committee content with these instruments? Yes. Under agenda item number three, we're considering two instruments subject to the negative procedure. An issue has been raised on one of these instruments, SSI 2023-287, the Public Procurement Agreement on Government Procurement Miscellaneous Amendments, Scotland Regulations 2023. This instrument was made under powers in the Trade Act 2021. The UK is a party to the International Agreement on Government Procurement, the GPA, which is negotiated by members of the World Trade Organisation. North Macedonia will shortly accede to the GPA and its suppliers will then be entitled to the same treatment as UK suppliers bidding for public contracts in the UK, which are subject to the GPA. The instrument amends Scottish procurement legislation to enable this. Under Section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform of Scotland Act 2010, instruments subject to the negative procedure must be laid at least 28 days before they come into force, not counting recess periods of more than four days. The instrument breaches this requirement as it was laid on the 18th of October and came into force on the 30th of October. In correspondence with the presenting officer, the Scottish Government stated that it was not possible to meet the lane requirements because officials were only informed on the 2nd of October that North Macedonia deposited its instrument uh, of accession to join the GPA on the 30th of September. The GPA enters into force for a new member 30 days after the instrument of accession is deposited, which for North Macedonia is therefore the 30th of October. The Scottish Government highlighted that taking account of recess, there was insufficient time to prepare and lay the instrument to meet the lane requirements and comply with international obligation to have the instrument in force by the 30th of October. The correspondence also indicates the UK Government is in a similar position. Does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under reporting ground J for failure to comply with lane requirements as it was not laid 28 days 
before it came into force. And as the committee content with the Scottish Government's explanation provided for this breach of the lane requirements. Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSI 2023-288. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. Under agenda item number four, we're considering an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI 2023-282. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. Thank you. And with that, I'll move the committee into private.